Okay. Hi, I'm Randy, and you're watching Sci-Fi Life. Yes, Sci-Fi Life. So, with that said, I would like to point out that uh, I love Star Wars, always have loved Star Wars, but I didn't realize how deep the rabbit hole went. I have always just watched the canon films and loved them and didn't realize how deep Star Wars went. I didn't realize they had all these books and these other, you know, I've never been big into animation. Yeah, I grew up watching Scooby-Doo and Transformers and G.I. Joe and He-Man, but as an adult, I never really got into cartoons, so I never watched any of the animation series. I just thought it wouldn't give away, it wouldn't add to the universe. And then as YouTube got popular and I watch videos and I see that people are learning about the Star Wars universe through these animation series, I'm like, you know what? I better watch these because there's stuff going on. Like to give you an example, to find out that Darth Maul is alive after what happens at the end of Phantom Menace with Obi-Wan Kenobi and Kaigon Jinn, it's like, what? He's got legs? And to see that in Solo, him having mechanical legs and realizing, you know, there's a whole world out there that I, I know nothing about. So I decided to go back and watch the 2008 Clone Wars movie. And <clears throat> I was blown away on how much I learned. And I didn't realize that this was between Attack of the Clones and Revenge of the Sith and until I started watching it. And to see Annie and... Anakin Skywalker and Obi-Wan interact. Anakin still has that, that uh, teenage feel to him, even though he's a Jedi and he's, <clears throat> he's out performing missions on his own. He didn't want to get uh, Ashaka, Asaka, Tano as an apprentice. You know, he thinks it's a mix-up. Uh, I really find that interesting and now that he has to train and to see that he is training a, a youngling or a Padawan and or Jedi and he still turns bad is like, whoa, man, this is pretty deep to, to, to see that he really had to be manipulated because everybody around him loves him and cares for him. And this movie showed that in this animation series. And I really enjoyed the lightsaber fights. It was action-packed. The wars during the Attack of Clones was, was very good to me. And I come out of this saying, you know what? I'm not one to rate movies, but I come out of this going, you know, this is about an 8 out of a 10. This was really good, and I learned a lot of information. Well... Then I read the reviews. I'm like, oh, let me find out how this was received back in the day. You know, because it come out in, man, was it 08, 05? I don't know, but it come out. And so I decided to read some of the reviews. Well, thankfully, I watched it before reading the reviews because these reviews were terrible. And I'm thinking, wow, did I miss something? And like, give you an example. On Rotten Tomatoes, it has an 18% approval rating. That is, that is low, and it, it was given a 4.2 out of a 10, and I am think I watched this, and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking back to it, I'm going, that don't make any sense, a 4.2? This was fantastic, the storyline of going and having to save Jabba's baby in order to, to, to win the alliance of Jabba, Jabba the Hutt, and his uncle wanting power and greed and setting him up with Count Dooku to manipulate uh, Jabba into thinking the Jedi are the one that kidnapped his baby. That's a fantastic storyline. But they got a 4.2 on their, their scale, which makes no sense to me. And to sum it all up, the Ewoks films, do y'all remember them? The, what was it, the Battle of Endor and Caravan of Courage, and of course the the Star Wars Holiday Special, you know, the Life Day with Chewbacca, all have higher ratings than this Clone Wars movie, which is is out of this world. That, that can't be right, right, can it? Did I miss something that bad? I thought it, it was fantastic. 
Okay, so Entertainment Weekly, one of the five worst films of 2008. They labeled it as one of the five worst films of 2008. You know how many films came out in 2008? A lot. And it was one of the worst five? There's no way. I need to go back and look and see what other films they have. But there is no way that that was considered one of the worst five films of 2008. Okay, the Toronto Star pretty much drives a stake into the heart of all loyal fans. Well, I'm a loyal fan, but maybe I'm not as diehard as somebody that knows all of the canon plus the animation series. Well, all I can say is that it didn't drive a stake into my heart. It made me want more, and I can't wait to go back and finish watching the rest of the Clone Wars. I am starving for that information that I didn't have, okay? York Daily News wrote, if this were a true Star Wars film, right about now somebody would say, I've got a bad feeling about this. Well, <laughs> that's hilarious how they use that those term, that term and that pattern of words. Of course, you know where that came from, but I don't know. That just tells me that they're either jealous or they don't care or I, I don't know. I always got this impression that critics always make everything terrible. And I don't know why. You wouldn't believe how many times I go to the movies to watch something and come out of there going, wow, that was fantastic. Then I go look at the reviews and the reviews are terrible. I'm thinking, who are these people? They can't be normal people. I mean, the, I, maybe they are. Maybe I'm off. You know, who knows? Okay, so Owen Gleiberman gave it an F. An F? They were that bad? They weren't that bad. I mean, if anything, I'd give them a low B, but I can give it a low A because I find it fascinating and I'm learning so much more of the universe and the lightsaber battles between Ventress and 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 Ashok, Asaka and Obi-Wan was fantastic. And their banter back and forth, it reminded me of Darth Vader and Obi-Wan Kenobi on the Death Star. You know, I... I, I just don't understand these reviews. Uh, the Philadelphia Inquirer said, The Clone Wars is the Star Wars what karaoke is to pop music. Now, they're just throwing words together there. They have no clue what the hell they're talking about. Because karaoke to pop music, hell, karaoke's fun. It's especially fun to watch people... To, I mean, it's a, it's a pastime. It's a it's a fun time. It's a, a time out with family and drinking and having a good time and and laughing and giggles and trying to be a star. Those are all good things in my mind, but yet they're trying to make it out like it's a bad thing. So not quite understanding what they were doing there. All right. Roger Ebert gave it 1.5 stars out of four. Well, you know, I've never really agreed with any of his stuff anyways. I think he's out of his mind. He's He's gotten too big for his britches and you know, if anything, this is three out of four, not a 1.5. That's ridiculous. Really? A 1.5? Come on. All right. So it earned $68 million off of an $8.5 million budget. So at eight times, just in the theaters alone, it's made way more and they consider this a flop. The critics do because it only made $68 million in the U.S. in theaters when only cost eight and a half million to make it. Well, it may be compared to the other Star Wars, but that's no flop. That's eight times its money. I mean, you can't, you can't go to the stock market and make eight times your money. That's ridiculous. So he was nominated for a Golden Raspberry Award in the category of Worst Prequel, Remake, Ripoff, or Sequel. Well, like I said, out of their mind. I mean, especially if you come up with an award that's that long and sounds like that. I mean, why even give out that award? You know, that's like just sticking your knife in and, and turning it in somebody. That, that, that doesn't make any sense. I know that they have that award and that award's been given out for years, but come on, really? This was fantastic entertainment and I couldn't wait to see the next one. I just don't get these these, uh, what are they, what are they? 
these critics. I just don't get understand what they're seeing or what they're saying. The this the Clone Wars or Clone Wars or whatever the hell it was in 2008, the movie was fantastic and I learned a lot and I cannot wait to watch more. So between it and the Mandalorian, I'm really got a lot of catching up to do. So with that said, I'm Randy. I hope you like this review. Please like and subscribe. Ring that bell so that you're notified. Hey, that rhymed. That was pretty cool. And drop me a line in the comment. Tell me I'm crazy or tell me that Ebert's crazy. Roger Ebert gave it 1.5 stars. Who's crazier, me or him? I'm giving it a four. Clone Wars movie I thought was fantastic from 2008. So drop me a line, leave it in the comments, subscribe, like, help me grow. I'll help you grow, do whatever. Just let's get this, this thing rolling. Have a good day. This is Sci-Fi Life where sci-fi comes to life. And I'm not sure I like that. I don't know. Give me something in the comments. See ya.